What if Atelier Ryza characters had servant classes? Now keep in mind, some of these characters won't cleanly fit into any class, so I'll make something work. We're doing this for fun, so enjoy. Let's start off with the main character, Ryza, who is an alchemist, but she would be a caster. But she also uses a staff for multiple things and can turn into a spear with some of her moves, as well as manifest spears, making her fitting for a lance. She's also quite physical as well, so I think this works out for her as an alternative. Following that, we have her best friend Claudia, who I think would fit in the caster class as when she was younger, she used a flute, fighting with magic via music, using it to attack, heal, and assortion of other things. But in the second game and the third game, she switches up to a bow and arrow, using magic such as ice to make arrows. Arrows. Then we have Tao, another character who switches up their gameplay style, another of Ryza's friends, who first starts off as a short young boy with a hammer that seems too big for him. So in this case, I'll just put him in the Lancer class because of his weapon, but he also uses magic in conjunction with it. He does function as one of the more physical units in the first game. Meanwhile, when he gets older, he has a growth spurg and switches to using two short swords. Essentially, imagine Emiya's fighting style. Tao also incorporates fire and wind magic into his combat with said swords. He is a quick fighter who still stays a physical unit. Then there is Lent, who is the warrior archetype of their group. He has a large two-handed sword that he usually wields that he uses in conjunction with fire and electricity. So obviously he would be a saber in this case. In the last of Ryza's original group of friends, we have Bose, who becomes playable in the third game and also has a dual wielding style, except he has one sword and creates the other sword out of magic. In terms of gameplay, fitting right in between Lent and Tao. They end up meeting two strangers, one of them being a girl from another world, quite literally, from a race known as the Oren. This is Leela, who is a warrior. Because she is from another world, I would say Foreigner fits perfectly for her. Otherwise, I'm not sure another class would function with her playstyle considering she is fast, she hits hard, she uses elemental skills, and her prior weapon is a set of claws. While I would like to say we could maybe fit her into Berserker, she never goes Berserk in any of the three games. And then we have her traveling companion, Impel, who taught Ryza alchemy, who is happy half Orin, half human. He also uses alchemy, making him a caster in my eyes, but I think we could roughly fit him in the assassin class considering some of his moves give him a scythe that he uses to take out his enemies. Moving on to Ryza 2, we introduce three new playable characters, one of them being another Orin clan member, different from Leela. This is Seri, who uses magic as well as plants to fight, making her either a four or a caster, in my opinion. We have the girl that Tao is privately tutoring, Patricia, who has a samurai-like fighting style, with her one-handed longsword, making her an obvious saber. And then we have the treasure-hunting Clifford, who, similar to Ashvataman, uses an unorthodox weapon to fight. In this case, he uses a boomerang, which takes many shapes depending on how you upgrade it in the game. He also uses a mental skills, but this means he usually fights from a distance, throwing it and thus he would be in the Archer class. Finally moving on to the end of the Ryza trilogy, Ryza 3, where we have another three characters. One of those is another Orin, the last one we meet, who is Kala. Kala can fit into three classes in my opinion, Foreigner being from another world, Caster because she can use magic, and Lancer because she uses a long-armed hammer-like staff to physically hit her enemies sometime. Another character with a similar type of weapon is Dion, who uses a long-armed axe. His fighting style is more ferocious and wild, so I think he could loosely fit in the Berserker class. Also considering in his final move called the Fatal Drive, he goes into a somewhat Berserk-like state for a bit before finishing off his opponent. I also 
also think for same reasons as Kala and Young Tao that he could probably fit in Lancer as well. And lastly, we have Frederica, who is an artisan and part of the Traders Union in her country. She uses a fan to fight. She utilizes magic in some of her moves, but also gets up close with her fan and slashes her opponents as if she was using a sword. So of course, cast or saber will work for her, but because she can also fight from a distance using wind magic, I think Archer also could work for her. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you want to know if the Rise of the series is good for you, check out my Rise of 3 review in the card or on the screen.